Hey brothers and sisters, how are you doing today? Hoping that uh, you're doing fine. Now, I want to tell you something that uh, it's about time. What we have feared most, it's, uh, it's already come. We have always been afraid of uh, losing, uh, losing our freedom. But now I can tell you for sure, <laughs> there's no more freedom like in Kenya it's been fully declared now that uh, you cannot uh, get into uh, buses into trains uh, the airport you can go into a plane you cannot get into a supermarket yesterday I went to a supermarket I was uh, you know chased out because they said you know I've not uh, I've not been beaten by the old serpent and I said it's okay and I went to the local market is where I bought my things. And let me tell you, brothers and sisters, it has reached a point that uh, true worshippers are going to worship in truth and in spirit. Just like the Bible told us, a time is coming when the true worshippers are going to worship in truth and in spirit. And now you have to be very, very, very uh, ready, you know, to die for what you believe. You have to be ready to die for what you believe. Okay? It's about time, friends. Uh, and, and I don't know how, what to say, really. Because this is the time. This is the time. If you have ever preached to someone to tell them about the truth of the gospel, please, this is the time. Tell them. Tell them. It's getting very hard. Now, I can't even almost get anywhere inside anywhere oh this one just came down <laughs> okay let me let me just take it out from here oh my <laughs> yeah now you 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 can't you can go anywhere right now unless you've been beaten by the old serpent what are we going to do god is going to be on our side he promised us and he told us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. He's going to feed you. He's going to uh, look off after you. He's going to help you out in whatever you do. So don't you be worried. I'm not even worried. Huh? I'm just going on my own things. And uh, even if they tell me that uh, you can't access here, you can't access there. Thank God there is a beach. I go there and just... Uh, Stay at the beach. That can make a good holiday for me. And if you're not near the beach, there are parks. <laughs> okay. God is good and is going to do it for us. All right. So, guys, I just want to encourage you. Remember, the Bible says that uh, be faithful even unto death. And you're going to receive a crown of life. Be faithful even unto death. Because the Bible knew that a time is going to come. A time is going to come that uh, you're going to die for your faith, for what you believe. Some of you will be cast into prison for 10 days. That's what the Bible says. But be faithful even unto death. Don't you give out your humanity. Don't you give out your humanity. Don't you bow down to the beast. He's not going to have me. And God is going to protect us. And he told us, even if they take you, don't worry about what you're going to say. Don't start planning and saying, I will tell them this, I'll tell them that. No, don't. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is going to put words in your mouth. He's going to put words in your mouth. He promised us. He promised us. And I can't wait to get home. I can't wait to get to heaven. I'm tired of this place tired of this place God is going to do a great thing so guys be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged and don't bow down don't take the mark because this is the mark people are still not believing it but it's the mark it is really truly the mark you may not believe right now but just give it a few minutes a few days a few days you're going to see you will not be able to buy or sell without it. You're not going to be able to do anything without it. 
and woe unto the people who have done this. You know what the Bible says? Men's hearts will fail for the fear of what is coming. After they have just discovered what they have done, after they have discovered what they have done, their hearts are going to fail. Just imagine somebody discovers, what have I just done? What have I just done? What have I just put inside myself? Into my own body? What have I just done? My friends, <laughs> people are going to cry. Don't be among those who are going to cry. Don't be among those who are going to be scared. Those who are going to face it rough. But be among the strong people who still have the wisdom of God because God gives us wisdom to discern. He gives us wisdom to discern. And these are the times that we're living in. We're in the last days, friends. If right now we can't get into a train, you can't get into a shop, you can't get in anywhere where, you know, any government office and these, you know, hotels which have already complied with the beast, you can't get into their hotels. We're going to stay in the, you know, small hotels which have not yet complied and uh, we're going to see how things will be. Anyway, guys, God bless you. Believe the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. How that Christ died for our sins. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. God bless you and have a good time.